Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to my very first episode of Trash to Fab. My name is Anne. For this new series, what we're going to do is transform old items that you may want to throw away and make them into something beautiful or useful again. So for this episode, what I'm going to do is transform my old lampshade that I kind of ruined during my move here. Uh, so what happened was it kind of got crunched up between things and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's lots of ripples and cracks on this lampshade. There's not much I can do to save this because even if I glue this together, you will see like the ripples and the folds and stuff like that, um, which doesn't really look pretty. What I want to do to this is give it a whole new look and I'm excited to get this project started. Let's go ahead and get into it. To make this, I will be using this lampshade and take out a lampshade that you don't mind repurposing or giving a new look to. Next, for material, I will be using felt and you can use any colors you like. The reason why I will be using felt is because it's a nice sturdy material and it holds its shape very, very well. For my template, I will be using this jar. You can use any other circular object you have in your home so that way you can trace the circle with. And lastly, I will be using a hot glue gun along with lots and lots of glue sticks. All right, everyone. So for step one, get your scissors and your pencil or tracing marker out on your table. And with your jar, place that onto your material. I'm going to trace around one circle. You can do this with a pencil or a marker. All right. Cut your circle out, cut over your tracing line so that way it doesn't show up. So now you have your first circle. Take that first circle and start making more. Here I'm just going to cut out a bunch of squares that that's about the same size as the circle so that way I can cut them out all at the same time. So a while back I made a very similar project like this one I'm showing you guys but I use a different method and it took me a lot longer. It took me almost like the whole night to make it and I didn't even get a chance to keep that project. It turned out really cute, but I think this one, I like this one better and this method is more easy to work with and it gives you like the same result. So I made a whole bunch of these little circles and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to repair this first and then I'm going to glue this on. All right, I am done repairing this lampshade and as you can see, you can still see the cracks on this lampshade. Even if I color this over, you will still see that flaw. And what I love about this style of lampshade is that you're adding texture and by adding texture, you're going to hide all that flaws underneath um, these pretty little flowers. Now with these circles, fold them in half like this and then fold it in half again just like so add in glue on the inside and now I'm going to add another little dab of glue here before I fold it together hold that in for five seconds for it to set then I'm just going to dab a nice big glob of glue to the bottom of this and stick it to the bottom of my lampshade. Hold this down for a few seconds. So the first few flowers you will have to add in extra glue but then afterward when you have it nice and packed with other flowers they kind of like keep its shape between one another. Keep doing the same thing. What I'm going to do is just basically glue a whole bunch around the bottom and then work my way up 